Hey guys, Senora Wilson here. We're going to continue on with our vocabulario, with our vocabulary. You've already got the handout. Um, I think I'm going to include it for you to download for the third time if you didn't do it the first time or the second time. So we are down at the very bottom of the handout um, on the first page. So we are going to start with some of these words, which you should have learned in Spanish 1. Be really helpful if you would say the words with me at home because you got to know how to pronounce them. All right, first word is class, hopefully from Espanol Uno. Ustedes ya saben que es la clase. La clase, you can tell, is femenina. It's feminine. We know that because of the la. Clase, however, does not end in an A, so we just have to memorize that clase is feminine. La clase is a cognate. We've talked about those before. It sounds like class, looks like class, and means class. All right, palabra numero dos. Let me move me around up here. Palabra numero dos is el laboratorio. El laboratorio también es un cognado. It's also a cognate. It sounds like laboratory. It looks like laboratory. So you might be in una clase that is actualmente in el laboratorio. Maybe your class is in the lab. All right, moving on. The bathroom. Oh, that's a good place to know. The bathroom is el baño. El baño is una palabra masculina. It's a masculine word. We know that it ends in an O. So we have el baño. Over here, let me move myself again. I'm just everywhere on this screen. There we go. Over here, we have the word cafeteria. And this is a true cognate because the word is actually cafeteria. Exact same word. It's pronounced la cafeteria. The only difference is here in English, we don't have accents, but in Spanish, there's an accent. It falls over the I. That's why it's pronounced cafeteria. You stress the I instead of how it would be pronounced. I don't even know if I can say this. It would be pronounced la cafeteria, but it's la cafeteria. Okay. So here we see una mujer in la cafeteria con unos estudiantes in la escuela. All right, next word. Oh, why can I not find a place to put myself there? I'm gonna be here for this slide. Okay, the next word is the office. The office is la oficina. También es un cognado. It's also a cognate. Sounds like office. Looks really similar, but notice there's only one F. La oficina es una palabra femenina porque termina en la A. It ends in the A, so it's feminine. In la oficina trabaja la secretaria. The secretaria es una mujer aquí. So we've got la secretaria que trabaja en la oficina. Both of these words are cognates. They should be fairly easy to remember. The football field in español. Any field by itself, I don't know if I can hide. Oh, no, no, this is not Senor Wilson at her best for technology. Here I go. Okay, any field is called a campo. So you could have a campo de football americano, which is a field of American football, aka a football field. You could have el campo de baseball, the baseball field. You could have el campo de softball, the softball field, and we also have el campo de fútbol. Now remember, fútbol to everybody else in the entire world means soccer. But to us here in the United States, football is football, football americano. All right, moving on. Um, I'm kind of in the way, but not so bad. I'm going to put myself right up here. All right, the word for math is matemáticas which sounds like mathematics, looks like mathematics, means mathematics. It is a cognate. So we have las matemáticas right here. Las matemáticas es una clase en la escuela. Then we're going to talk about some specific math classes that aren't on your vocabulary. These are cognates, though. They're really easy. We have el álgebra. This one sounds kind of crazy. It's called la geometría. Remember, the G in Espanol sounds like a H. Huh. It gets an H sound, a H. Huh. So this is not the la geometria. It's la geometria, kind of like, hey, I'm a tree. Uh. Put it together and you get la 
geometría. La geometría, geometry. So in matemáticas, los estudiantes en la clase trabajan con los números. Números, numbers. All right, we're going to move on to science. Science is another good cognate. It's called ciencias. Las ciencias es una palabra femenina. It's a plural word. It ends in an S, just like it does up here in English. So it is plural and feminine. Specific kinds of sciences are cognates. They're not too hard to remember. We have la biología, la química, and la física. In la clase de química, los estudiantes trabajan en el laboratorio. They work in their lab con el maestro or la profesora. In la clase de biología también, los estudiantes trabajan en el laboratorio. Física. Oh, this is my hardest class ever. Physics is a combination of ciencias and matemáticas. Those were not my two best subjects in school. Ciencia and matemáticas make up la física. All right, then we've got this one, which we should know. It is la clase de inglés. Now you can use la clase, which means the class of, and then throw anything on there you want to. You could have, ooh, hang on, that's my alarm going off. Let me go turn it off, I'll be right back. Okay, that's reminding me to take roll for, I think we're in sixth period. But with no kids here, it's hard for me to remember. So I have like eight different alarms. Okay, you can use la clase de, the class of, in front of any class. So like math class would be la clase de matemáticas, la clase de biología, la clase de geometría. Remember, geometría, geometry. Right down here, la clase de español. Now notice that Spanish, and English are not capitalized in the Spanish language, actual languages, Spanish, English, French, Italian, are not capitalized, even though we do that in English, no in Espanol. Aquí tenemos la clase de literatura. Let's say it, literatura. Literatura es una clase de inglés Y los estudiantes leen, let me get in front of the camera, leen los libros, they read books, y escriben mucho. All right, then we have just some random classes that are probably more up your alley, more of your favorite classes. We have, why is that not coming on? I don't know. Oh, because I'm covering the picture. Oh, okay. We have la clase de arte. Now notice this is el arte. Art is a masculine word. I don't know why, but it is. You can't tell just by looking at the word because it doesn't end in an O. It doesn't end in an A. Tienes que memorizar la palabra. Aquí tenemos la clase de la banda. In banda, los estudiantes tocan los instrumentos. La banda. Aquí tenemos la clase de, whoops, I got ahead of myself again. I got to move myself again. Where am I going to go? I'm going to go right here. Um, aquí tenemos la clase de agricultura. Now in Conley, no tenemos una clase de agricultura. Ag classes is usually where you work with animales. Y aquí at Conley High, no tenemos clases de agricultura. We have Elsinore Figley who teaches shop classes where you can learn how to build all kinds of cool things. But ag classes generally work with animales. Um, right down here we have, why is this not working? There we go. Um, atleticas. La clase de atleticas, este chico está corriendo mucho. He's running a lot in la clase de atleticas. All right, so those are the words that we're going to go over for this week. I'll probably do one more quick review video later on. Let's see if I can remember how to turn myself off. If it takes me a minute and I stumble around because you know how I forget these things work, then I'm done with you. So you can go ahead and click off of me. But you will need to know these things for the quiz that's going to follow. Adios.